Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out this 100 watt portable solar panel from Mesuvida. All right, when you first open the package, this is what you're going to find out. You're going to, you're going to pull this out and everything that you need is inside this zipper in the back. You'll also see that this panel comes with two leg stands that should put it right around a 45 degree angle. Let's go ahead and unzip this. And it comes with this baggie right here that has a bunch of cabling in it and the user's manual. Okay, the first cable is a 5521 extension cable. And the other cable is uh, MC4 connections to a whole slew of connectors. We have an XT60 connector. We have another 5521 barrel plug. We have an eight millimeter barrel plug and we have an Anderson connector. So this this is very versatile. You can, you can plug in almost any portable power station using this solar panel. Because you can see with this solar panel, it does come wired with MC4 connectors. So you can actually wire this panel directly to a solar charge controller if you wanted to. The solar panel also does come with this little power, this little power brick right here. And it does have a USB-A port. A, uh, a, another USB-A port, but it's a, a quick charge 3.0 port, and it does come with a USB-C port, along with the uh, 5521 female port. In the user's manual, it does have the dimensions in millimeters. It does say that it's 590 millimeters across by 510 millimeters uh, tall, I guess you could say, and it's 45 millimeters thick. And then when it's unfolded, it's actually 1,200 millimeters long. And it weighs in right around eight pounds. All right, and so for this demonstration, we're gonna be using uh, this All Powers 600 right here. And we're gonna be using the cable that came with it, along with this XT60 connector to connect to it, just to see uh, how much power we actually get from this panel. All right, what's nice about these portable panels is that they're very easy to set up. All you gotta do is just open up the Velcro, Unfold it. Pull out the legs in the back that are Velcroed in. And it's ready to produce some power. All right, from the view in the back, you can see that we have our MC4 connectors right here. And all you need to do is take your, uh, your multi-wired uh, cabling right here and connect the MC4 connectors together. just like that. And now we have any variety that we need to power our unit. All right, and I'm gonna take this XT60 connector and I'm gonna go ahead and connect it right up to this All Power 600. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the app on the screen so you can see exactly what happens when I plug it in. There we go, it's plugged in. And you can see the input is actually ramping up now. And we are at 78 watts. And that was, and that was just me just putting this down and kind of pointing it towards the sun. I angled it a little differently and now we're getting 81 watts. It is 1220 in the afternoon. So let's just go ahead and lay this flat down and see what happens. And you can see laying it flat down at high noon, we're still getting 80 watts, which is pretty good for a 100 watt panel. And if we angle it just a little bit, like if you get the perfect angle, you know, we're now looking at 84 watts. So we could actually just put this like that. And we're getting 84 watts from a 100 watt panel. All right, and what's nice about these is that once you're done, it just takes a few seconds to actually pack it all up. And I'm done. All right, one of the huge benefits of having a panel like this from Mazuvida is that since it has MC4 connectors, you can, you can buy multiples of these 
and you can connect them in either parallel or series to either, you know, you could have up to a 400 watt array of portable panels just by connecting those MC4 connectors uh, in the right configuration. Or if you have uh, uh, like a parallel branch, MC4 branch, you can connect all of those and make them all in parallel. The only thing you need to make sure is that you buy the same panel. You don't want to really mix. Uh, like if you already have like the Masuvida 60 watt panel, uh, you don't really want to mix it because it has different amperages and different voltage ratings. Because in the manual, it actually does say that this 100 watt panel is a 24 volt panel with an open circuit of 28.5 volts. And the uh, operating current is 4.16 amps. Uh, with a short circuit current of 6 amps. Now, if you actually had a Masuvida 60 watt panel and you connected those together, uh, that one is only an 18 volt panel and the amperage on that is only 3.33. So you, would be, uh, you wouldn't be getting the full 160 watts if you connected those panels together in either parallel or series. So if you're going to buy multiples, make sure you get the same size. All right, so if you have any questions about the 100 watt portable solar panel from Mizuvida, uh, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll go have a link to this in my description in case you want to look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.